بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope you are all doing well If you haven't already done so please subscribe to the channel and share with your family and friends Now moving on to verse number 20 coming to the conclusion regarding the hypocrites uh, in this paragraph of uh, Surah Al-Baqarah the, the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah and now we we've understood the the mindset of the hypocrites and where they are the different types of hypocrites and now we have this this type of hypocrite who is on the edge yeah so at times they do believe so they do come into uh, faith at times very they're not fully there and uh, and then they go back into disbelief and then they there may be a glimmer of hope uh, they may be given a reminder uh, although they are trying to avoid this, the last verse which was mentioned was uh, they would put their fingers into their ears because they don't want to hear these reminders. So like like sometimes when uh, you may talk about death and then all of a sudden, why are you talking about death for? You know what, Don't we're, we're in a good mood, don't ruin our mood. Or you may talk about uh, the hellfire, the punishments for certain actions, for certain sins. Uh, why are you talking about that for? Don't, don't dampen the mood. We don't, we don't want to hear about that. So these hypocrites, they were on the edge and uh, the, the scenario is, is such that now they're in this dark, gloomy situation and when the lightning comes, so there, there is light at that time, very briefly. So because there is some light now, what they do is they move forward, meaning they they come back into Islam or they take that which is beneficial from the religion uh, or even in uh, meaning in terms of uh, wealth, status and all of these things and then when it goes dark again meaning now they've decided to put their fingers back in the ears they've decided to turn their backs on the on the Quran on the, the reminders which they are being given and now they're back into Kufr so they keep moving between these two states they they may come back into Islam and then they're back out again. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now says, وَلَوْ شَاءَ لَذَهَبَ اللَّهُ بِالزَّمْعِهِمْ وَأَبَصَارِهِمْ That if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted, then He would definitely, uh, He would take away their hearing and their seeing. So re remember the previous uh, verses uh, mentioning سُمُّمْ بُكْمُنْ عُمْيُنْ The deaf, dumb and blind. Yeah, so they they they're totally... Uh, they're totally not taking benefit from their eyes, their ears. they're not taking benefit from their senses. These people, at times, they do actually take benefit. But because they're not taking benefit like they should be, rather they're trying to avoid it, they're trying to not hear uh, about the Qur'an, they're trying to not hear the reminders which are being given to them, they're trying not to see that everything around us, for example, someone passes away, they're trying to not remember that this person has now moved to another world they've gone to the hereafter there there is going to be a life after this life so in these situations they're trying to ignore all of these warnings and if they continue in this manner then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take that away from them we gave the example yesterday about the 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 criminal who he sees a window open and he sticks his head in and then he comes back out he sticks his head in and then he comes back out and then finally the housekeeper, they will decide to lock the window. So once they reach the stage, then they are fully into disbelief. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And then it goes on to mention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful over, over all things. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants, he's giving us chances. He's giving us chances after chance after chance. But if we keep turning away and we keep sinning, and not just turning away, turning and running away, as fast as we as we possibly can, then that opportunity will be taken away from you. Your heart will become sealed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And as believers, this should be a lesson for us. This should be a reminder for us that we do not want to be like these people whose hearts become sealed, whose eyesight becomes blinded, whose who are not able to hear. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. 
do continue to join me at Quran 365 subscribe to the channel click on the notification button and share with your family and friends assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh